These are the commonly used units of measurement for length, volume, and mass that we'll see in chemistry. Time is, is pretty common outside of chemistry as well. Uh, but the, uh, these are listed as what we call the English units. Um, and this is what we use in the United States uh, because we originated from England. And these are units that are in inches and feet for length or volume is in quarts and gallons or on cups or mass is in pounds. And the English system is based on, on body parts. So this, you might have noticed this word feet, that is actually the average length of a foot. And this is how people used to um, measure things just using their body parts before a standard system was developed. So this is uh, historic, historically used, but now we've moved on to science uses the SI system, which I'll show you next. But the um, portion of a thumb, this portion on the thumb, this is actually approximately an inch, no matter whose, whose thumb it is. And so this is how they used to measure inches. The metric system is used all over the world. It's used in Asia and Europe and in science. And they're both correct. You can measure the length in miles or you can measure the length in meters. You just need a conversion factor to convert between the two. Um, you can measure the mass in pounds or you can measure the mass in grams, which would be the um, in the SI system. So for the SI system, which stands for System International, this is commonly associated with a metric unit. Like instead of just a meter for measuring length, you have a kilometer, okay, or a centimeter, or a milligram. And so these are common, the metric prefixes that we covered in the last lecture are commonly used together with these SI units for length and mass and volume. To convert between an English system to the SI system, you don't need to memorize anything. You just need to know where to find these conversion factors. And so they can be found in the back of the textbook, the ebook. They can be found, um, they'll always be given on a quiz or exam. And so you just need to know how to use it. So how to use a conversion factor. Um, these are conversion factors where you have an equality. That's one thing equal to the other, like one mile equals 1.609 kilometers. X equals Y. So anytime you have an equality, this equality can be turned into a fraction. And so the fraction is simply taking one side of the equals sign, the X, and putting it on the other side, the Y. Or taking the other side, Y, and putting it on the top and putting the other side of the equality on the bottom. One thing equal to the other, it can be um, written as a fraction and then used as a conversion factor to cancel units. So let me put this in action here, um, that this is an example. Convert five centimeters to inches. So you have five centimeters and you want to, con which is the SI units with the metric prefix centi. And you want to convert this to inches, which is English units. So five centimeters to inches, we want to find a conversion factor that has both centimeters and inches. So that would be this one is one inch. So let's copy the conversion factor. One inch equals 2.54 cm. So then you take this number you're trying to convert and rewrite it, 5 cm, and then right next to it, put a parentheses with a line. That's where you're going to put this fraction. So what goes on the bottom of the fraction is going to cancel out with the units you're trying to get rid of, which are centimeters. So I'm going to put 2.54 centimeters on the bottom. And then on the top is what this is equal to. That's one inch. So you don't um, decide this randomly. This is The goal is to cancel the units, and what you're left with are the units of inch. Okay, So that's good. When the units are set, you can write inch there, and that's what you're trying to solve for. 
when you figure out that you've gotten the right units, you've canceled correctly, then you can go to the calculator. So the calculator is going to be 5 times 1 divided by 2.54, or just 5 divided by 2.54, which is, change my pen color, 1.96850. Uh, 3937. Now I'm writing all that entire number down. Um, for now, uh, we'll talk about rounding next, but let's just write this entire number down right now. So here's another example that says convert 5 inches to centimeters. So again, you have a number with the English units of inches, and this is the SI units of centimeters. So you want to use a conversion factor that has both inches and centimeters, and we can use the same one, 1 inch equals 2.54 centimeters. So take the number that you're trying to convert, 5 inches, and then write a fraction, and decide what's going to go on the bottom of that fraction. This time I'm going to put 1 inch on the bottom, and that's because I'm trying to cancel out inches with inches. Then 2.54 centimeters goes on the top, and inches and inches will cancel out. You're left with units of centimeters, cm, so once the units check out, that's what you're trying to solve for, then you can go to the calculator, which is going to be 5 times 2.54 divided by 1. So putting that into the calculator is going to be equal to 12.7, and there's no other digits on that number.